understand that people are feeling feeling this. They are feeling uh, the increase of prices, uh, which with food in particular right now and gas. That is that is something that we understand. We 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 understand that people are feeling feeling this. They are feeling uh, the increase of prices. Uh, which, with food in particular right now, and gas. That is, that is something that we understand. What we're trying to say, what I'm trying to say to you, is that the economy is in a better place than it has been. Well, it seems inflation is the, the big issue that the Democrats are pretending. It's all these other things. Same with the liberals. It's all these other things. Well, you know, the oil and gas has to go down um, or else everyone's going to continue to be upset. Pierre Poliver, he was masterful against Tr Justin Trudeau before and uh, huge numbers racking. Now that he's leader, will he do it again? Check it out. Powerful and logical presentations of my two colleagues by saying this. We have identified at least five sections of the Ethics Act. Five, six. That said, we know that no nation can go on consuming without producing. The only way for us to continue to exist economically is to once again unleash the full and incomparable power of Canada's 20 million person workforce. Here, here, here. Combined with hypnotic phrases intended to make us feel comfortable with a trillion dollars. safety rules imposed by their municipalities, rules that are hard themselves to follow, burdensome and costly to implement. And now they will have to plow through an already complicated system of taxation in order to make sense of an even more complicated system of subsidies. Um, speaking of the public service, when it recommends a nearly billion dollar contribution agreement, does the public service do due diligence on the financial integrity of the recipient? Uh, that would be a yes or no. Uh, in general, yes. Uh, in, the, in this case of the uh, WE charity, uh, Kate Behan of the Charity Intelligence said uh, of uh, WE Charity's finances, but when you scratch beneath the surface, there are lots of red flags. Did anyone in the public service raise these red flags? Uh, not to my knowledge, uh, Chair. The I would say that the due diligence uh, is carried out primarily through the negotiation or the development of a contribution agreement, which was uh, certainly right. done in this in this uh, in this case. It Incidents, Minister. Mr. Minister. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the question. Um, I think what I want to make sure that I communicate is this was a mistake on my behalf. I'm responsible for uh, any expenses that I incur on trips being paid for. Uh, this was an expense that I was unaware of, that I did not know, had not been paid. And when I found that out uh, over the course of the last dollar expense, you didn't know about a forty-one thousand dollar expense. How is that even possible, uh, Mr. Minister? Again, Mr. Chair, um, I I just have to say that uh, in review of our records, I uh, understood that there was no charge for these uh, travel expense or these expenses at the uh, at the Wee facilities. And once I found that out, I endeavored to repay that. And of course, it was a mistake on my part, which I take full responsibility for. That you repaid over $40,000 of expenses associated with your travel 
on a we charity trip that you just repaid it today on the same day you were expected to testify under oath about it is that just a coincidence minister mr minister thank you bill morno intervened to give a grant to an organization the same month that that organization had hired his daughter Bill Morneau has already in the past been found guilty of violating the ethics law. So why hasn't Justin Trudeau fired him? I don't ask that rhetorically, but specifically.